I thank God for the opportunity to, to worship him this morning. It sounded like we're not going to stop <laughs> because mm -hmm. God has been so good. Like for real, look how, how much God has helped us and how far he has brought us. Amen. It's mm -hmm. something to worship for 10 hours because there's a lot of stories to be told. You know, yeah. a lot of transformation that the Lord has done to share. A lot of mysteries that have transformed us that we know in the lives of each other. Amen. Amen. So this morning, we're going to be praying about the mission and the vision of families. Amen. The model home, which we are, which we are told is the excellent home. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says in John chapter 16, verse 13, that but when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, all the truth, not all the lies. He will he will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. Amen. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was living, he said he's going to send a helper mm -hmm. and the helper is the Holy Spirit. So this helper teaches us all things. There is nothing in this life that we, we can do. That the Holy Spirit doesn't know the way forward because He is the help, the helper, ordained and and instructed to, you know, moderate and facilitate our lives here on earth. But people don't even use the Holy Spirit at all, make Him idle. So we're gonna pray this morning that we're gonna pray like this. I pray through the power of the Holy Spirit that I am driven and guided in the right direction that I should follow. So we're gonna be praying with the mindset of family in our heads, at the back of our minds, are praying about family. So when we're praying about, praying through the power of the Holy Spirit, that we are driven and guided in the right direction that we should follow generally. Amen. And also the Bible says that Amen. you may think you are on the right road and still end up dead. There is a way that seemed right to a man, but the end of it all leads to death, leads to destruction. So we're going to pray that the Holy Spirit will drive us and guide us in the right direction that we should follow. In everything that concerns life and family and home, raising homes, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us pray. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Father, Father. Lord, we thank you for the Holy Lord, Spirit. Thank you. God, you are our helper, Ebenezer. May you have found this strength of Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth, into all truth, that even as we make decisions here on earth, in align with your will in heaven, and that will show that your will be done on earth as it is in heaven, the Bible says, it is because of the Holy Spirit that this is possible. And therefore, Father, we pray this day in the name of God. And the Holy Spirit has come and therefore it is guiding us into all truth, into all directions, into all the ways that we must follow in the name of Jesus. Because if we lean on our own understanding, we fail woefully in the name of Jesus. And therefore, if we lean on the arm of flesh, we will fail in the name of Jesus. For the arm of flesh is not the, the designer and the orchestrator of family life for you, oh God. You designed family, you designed relationships. Yes. Therefore, we ask that the Holy Spirit yes. is going to teach us the will of the Father, the way that we must go in the name of Jesus. That we will not lean on our own understanding. We will not trust chariots nor horses. That we will trust in the name of the Lord, in the name of the Lord, and in the power of His might to raise up our children to go the way that we must go to live family life in the name of Jesus. In life, oh God, generally, we pray that the Holy Spirit will help us in the name of Jesus. For we can do nothing by our own self. A will come against the spirit of Uza in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of Uza in the name of Jesus. Our trust is in the name of the Lord. Our trust is in the Lord, our trust is in the Lord. A carabo teach us to rely on the Holy Spirit to guide us, oh Father, to drive us in the right direction. Even as we spend time in your words, for the Bible says that your word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. There is no other way outside of it. 
Father, we thank you, Father, for revelation. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. And we pray that this day we will begin to use the Holy Spirit even more. That we will not think our own thoughts, no, in the name of Jesus. That we will think what the Father is thinking. For he has aligned his thoughts with ours. Whatever we think is what the Father thinks in the name of Jesus. We will seek his way. We will seek his truth, which is the word of God. We will not depart from it. That we will meditate upon it day and night. That our families may be successful and prosperous. That our families may go the way that we must go. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you glory. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Psalm 37, verse 4 to 5 says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him, and he will do this. When we read the article, number one, about the mission statement of the home, it says that vision is not all about reaching the goal. It's about fulfilling God's desires and plans for our homes and families. We're going to pray that our the Father align our desires, our desires to align and our plans to align with that of the Lord. We cannot make plans outside of what the Lord has in store for us. So we're going to pray that Lord, that take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Take delight in the Lord, delight in his ways, delight in his word. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him and he will do this. Pray that we would align our desires and our plans and what we love with what the Father loves so that we can fulfill God's plans and desires for our homes and our families in the name of Jesus. Amen. If we must erect a family structure that impacts societal values, then we must delight in the way of the Lord. Then our plans must align with the plans of the Father in the name of Jesus. Lord, help us. Help us to know that. The way that we must go is the word of God, for in it is hidden a brush of treasures to raise up families in the name of Jesus. Rakonto Rosh that impact the society in the name of Jesus, that impact the schools, that impact organizations. Take the light in the Lord. Take the light in the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus that our family members would take the light in the Lord, that the leaders of each family would take the light in the Lord. Delight in the Lord, delight in the Lord in the name of Jesus. And he will give us the desires of our heart. And then he will give us the plan and the purpose for each family in the name of Jesus. And everyone will be fulfilled walking in their purpose and calling to impact society, to impact the world at last. Even when we delight in the Lord, we delight in the Lord and study and learn his ways in the name of Jesus and commit our way to him, trust in him, and he will do this for us in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that even now, we need to touch our hearts, begin to teach us that we need to align our, our plans and our desires with yours. And how do we do this? By meditating upon the word of the Lord day in, day out. For this is how we excel in the name of Jesus. But we pray, oh God, that families will do family and home differently in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. The Bible says in Psalm 32, verse 8, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with I will counsel you with my eye upon you. When we read the article, we see that Jesus, oh, sorry, Jesus responded <clears throat> when he was 
being searched for when his family family members were looking for him. He said, didn't you know I had to be in my father's house? Jesus responded as such because he understood his mission. We're going to pray this morning, Lord, instruct the leaders of every home with certainty and clarity. So that we don't even know how to respond. <laughs> we just respond anyhow because we do not even know, do not understand the missions for the family or the values or there is no mission statement. You just give birth to you, go to school. What do you like to become? Would you like to become okay? Would you like to become this okay? Would just be becoming and be going. No leader, nothing, no mission statement. Everybody's just on one lane or the other. I mean, it's everybody, I mean, it's okay to have to be on one lane or the other because not everybody's called to do the same thing. But so we are we on one lane on the or the other because the Lord has instructed us the way that we should go. Is that where the Lord sent you, or is it because He saw your friend? doing that thing and then it looks nice and then you're like you know there is no leader leading anybody anyway everybody's just doing their own thing so i'm gonna pray this morning for clarity especially for the leaders of every home because they carry the vision board they carry the they carry the mission statement for each home there are, what is mission statement by the way <laughs> with family it doesn't even ring a bell like Hello, we're just living life. What is the meaning of mission statement? So someone will not leave mission statement again. How? But there is a mission statement for every family, for every home, because even Jesus knew where he was supposed to be and why he was supposed to be there. There was something that was guiding him. He wasn't just moving about, you know, carelessly. Let us pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord will teach us in the way we should go and counsel us with his eye upon us. He should fix his eye upon us. And when we want to do that which is not of God, he will you know, call us back into direction of the path that we must follow. You should give the leaders, instruct the leaders of every home with clarity and certainty in the name of Jesus. Like how Jesus was certain that he was supposed to be in his father's house. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we pray this day we commit our families to your hands. We commit especially the leaders of the families, which are the fathers, oh God, that you begin to download and download statements even now because it is not so late as the leaders of every home to your hands they should understand that they are being instructed they should know that they are supposed to be instructed by the father and they are supposed to be taught in the way that they should go in the name of Jesus because they are the head of the family like Jesus is a is a is a road to the church, which is the bride. Therefore, the, our husbands and the leaders are the heads of the families. In the name of Jesus, they take care, they bring the visions, they bring the missions. A bashandara, a pretty zena you begin to know and teach them with certainty and clarity that they know that indeed this is what we are supposed to be doing because the Father said so. In the name of Jesus, and they will begin to instruct us and guide us the way that we must go because the father has taught them and instructed them the way that the family must go in the name of Jesus. God, I give you glory, God, this day in the name of Jesus for instruction, for clarity, and for directions in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Matthew 15, verse 14 says, Leave them, they are blind guides. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. The article says, having a mission and vision for your life, family, and home, define the places you go and the people you invest your time with. Leave them, they are blind guides. And so what we tied to is <laughs> if you're going after people who don't even know where they're supposed to be going or you interact, you just waste your time you know, walking about. You don't even know what you're doing. Jesus says, leave them, they are blind guides. If the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. So if you don't have a mission or a vision for your life or your family and your home, you'll be copying another person's recipe for their own home. And before you know it, everybody is going down the pit because people are leaning on the arm of flesh, copying arm of, arm of, arm of flesh's you know, recipe. <laughs> So 
it says that a mission statement and a vision, which is definitely from the Lord, define the place you go. You're not just gonna be walking around carelessly, idling around, not even know where you're supposed to be. And also the people you invest your time with, they're gonna get a good return. You're gonna meet the right people. You're always gonna be at the right place at the right time because the Holy Spirit doesn't do guesswork. He instructs you by the will of the Father where you must go, who you must be with. You know, so the Bible says in Psalm 37, verse 23, the steps of a man are established by the Lord when he delights in his way. So the step of a man, the steps of a man are established by the Lord. Another translation says that the steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. So you order you, you're not going to be moving around like a deer. <laughs> Amen. So let us pray that we will not come in contact with meaningless people, and we're not going to follow the blind, so we're not going to end up in the pit. Let us pray and commit all, all the way the, the, um, the head of each family, because if they follow the blind, they're coming back to blind the whole family. <laughs> Amen. Let us pray. Father, this day we pray, and we thank you. We thank you for each head of the family in the name of Jesus. We pray for direction. For it is important. It is important that we dwell on it. We pray for direction. We pray, O oh God, that our eyes be open. The Bible says the entrance of the word of God bringeth light. We pray that the head of each family will meditate upon the word. So when they meditate upon the Lord, on the word, they will see the light of God. It will enter and begin to give directions, even unto the simple, even down to the simplest of the family members, even down to the babies. In the name of Jesus. Because all your your works and your ways, your your laws are not burdensome. And therefore, Father, even the little of family members can benefit from it. Because when your light comes, it makes everything simple. When your light enters, darkness flees, and we begin to see clearly over the way that we must go. We begin to see what it is that we must do in the name of Jesus. Direction begins to flow. From the first to the last in the family. God, I thank you. I pray this day, oh God, that direction, oh God, will flow from the head. A barobo shut down to the least in the family in the name of Jesus Christ. That we will not follow the blind by no means. Because the Holy Spirit we have, a barobo that guides us. And therefore, we are not moving sheepishly in the name of Jesus. But we are going with certainty in a certain direction, boldly so, in the name of Jesus. Because we heard the Father, a barakan. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. I thank you that we will not spend time with people of no value, but that we will invest our time with the right people and in the right places. In the name of Jesus, amen. amen. Luke 22, 42. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, Jesus said. Nevertheless, not my will, the dying be done, because he knew that if his own will, I mean, Jesus' will is the Father because the Father and Jesus are one. But in this case, Jesus came down as a sacrificial lamb. Just God was like, I'm not having anything to do with you. Go and die. Don't be talking to me. Jesus is saying, Lord, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. Just God is saying, you will die there because I need to redeem the people. I need to buy them with a price. Amen. But then Jesus understands this and says, nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. The scriptures make us understand Jesus was on a mission, the article says. John 5, 19 A and B. Verily, verily, I tell you, the son can do nothing by himself. He can only do what he sees the father doing. Father, let your will prevail over ours. It is not easy, but then it becomes easy because the Bible says that the ways of the Lord and the commitments are not burdensome. So if we fix our eyes on Jesus, on the Father, we will get what we need to get. I wish all the leaders of every home and family was here because when we pray, I mean, let's pray for them because they have a duty that they must play, a duty, a role that they must play in each family for things to begin to happen. They need to carry the vision and run with it so that people in the family align. But nevertheless, the Bible also says that the prayer of the righteous availed much. So we will pray and avail much this morning, even in the absence. Amen. Mm -hmm. So it says, scripture makes us understand Jesus was on a mission and he understood that his will cannot be done. 
Because at this point, his will was shifting. He knew he was supposed to come and die. But at this point, he was like, hey, Lord, remove the cups more if you are willing. Because the pain is too much. But ne not, nevertheless, not my will, but dying be done. So let us pray that no matter what, the Father's will be done in every situation in the name of Jesus. Father, let your will prevail over ours in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Very, very, I tell you, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do nothing by ourselves in the name of Jesus. We can do nothing by ourselves in the name of Jesus. And therefore the, the son did only what he saw the father doing. Did only what the father instructed him to do. So let it be it, let it be it for us too in the name of Jesus. That we will align our ways with the Lord and that the will of God must prevail in every situation. But we know not for we did not make ourselves the father knows better. that we commit every leader of every family, the fathers, the mothers, 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 his will be done. For when the Father's will is done, our lives change forever. It brings us to a place where people begin to say, see what God has done for you. See what the Lord is doing in this family. Look what the Father has done. People begin to think suddenly that there is nothing wrong with you because the Father's hand is upon you in the name of Jesus because your will aligns with the Father's will. The Bible says that can two walk except they agree. You must walk with the Father in the name of Jesus by agreeing with Him. The Father, your will be done in this family in the name of Jesus. Your will be done in the lives of the children in the name of Jesus. Your will be done in the society. It begins from the home. It begins from the home. Therefore, God, I pray this day that our homes will experience transformation in the name of Jesus by virtue of alignment. Let the fathers will begin to find expression in every home, in every family. This is how society changes forever in the name of Jesus. This is how we raise leaders. That fear God in the name of Jesus. This is how we raise engineers. With a this is how we raise doctors with gifted hands. This is how we raise teachers. This is how we raise presidents. This is how we raise skincare experts with a difference in the name of Jesus. This is how we raise talented individuals that change the world forever. If only the Father's will in the name of Jesus. If only we align with the Father's will in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Second Corinthians 3 12 it says, Therefore, since we have such a hope, we are very bold. Acts chapter 19, verse 8 says, Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. Means that Paul knew what he was doing, he cannot tell Paul. Paul says it's the kingdom of God and his righteousness that we will seek first before anything will be added. For three months, he was speaking bold. You cannot tell Paul what to say. Paul was telling you what is because he was, he had this hope and he was very bold, the Bible says. Therefore, since we have such a hope and we are very bold, he knew that his father cannot fail him. It is the father and the father's way alone. So the article says that a mission statement keeps you in check. Paul was in check and checking everybody and helps you live a non-apologetic lifestyle. When Paul was speaking for three months, he did not beg anybody. He was telling you about the kingdom of God. He wasn't apologetic about it and the lifestyle thereof. Amen. He had a mission statement. He had something guiding him. In the same way, we desire that we would communicate mission statements and the values of each family from the word of God 
unashamedly and non-apologetically so that societal um life can change can be impacted through the word of god it begins from the families amen how mm -hmm. i wish everybody knew this secret we, we find thieves and and liars and drug dealers and all kinds of things the bible says that from out of the what's the word that the heart of man is desperately wicked and the wickedness in the heart of man begins to bear all begins to bear thieves the things i mean i don't even know all of them that are out there but it comes it starts from family you know these families do not have a foundation they didn't have a mission statement that guided them they were not grounded on the word of God. So everybody was living their own life and doing their own thing. And of course, the devil takes over. Acts chapter, Acts chapter 18, verse 19 says, One night the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision. Do not be afraid. Keep on speaking. Do not be silent. Amen. When you carry these visions and these mission statements and the word of God back in it, do not be quiet. Do not be afraid. Bible says we have such a hope and we are very bold. You see, Paul, Paul wasn't playing. He did not come to play. So in the same light, we are called upon to not be afraid, to keep on speaking and not be silent. One night, the Lord spoke to Paul in a vision. So the Lord was foiling Paul's um, lifestyle and the way that he spoke. So the Lord found, he he, he desired, he, he got pleasure out of how Paul you know, orchestrated things about the kingdom. He says, Paul, do not be afraid of speak. Do not be quiet. Nobody can, can silence you. Speak, speak, speak. Do not be quiet. We have been given boldness. So we're going to pray and declare that the foundation of our family is standing on a solid rock. And because of this, we are confident about what our values are as a family and who instructs us. Amen. Let the fruits that we bear be evident. When the Lord instructs you, that is how people begin to say that, oh, there is nothing wrong with you. you know, you're okay. We thought that you're mad. You know, because now the fruit, the fruit is now evident. The work has been done. We had a mission statement we went by the word of God. It must bear fruit. A city built on a hill cannot be hidden. It will shine. Amen. Mm -hmm. So let us pray in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. We communicate on a and boldly in the name of Jesus. Even now that our families are springing up from a foundation of a solid rock that is bringing forth solid individuals in the name of Jesus. Well-rounded individuals. Sound people of God in the name of Jesus. From big to small, nobody left out. Lord, we thank you because only your word can do this. Only a mission statement from the Father can begin to bring forth things like this. Eh, Shanda, can begin to shape Rabba Shanda Rabo Shanda. Can begin to shape individuals of every family. Robo Shanda, none being lost. Eh, Rabo everybody making sense to a point where people begin to look at you and say, Look what the Lord is doing with you. Look at your life. There is nothing wrong with you. Only God can make this our reality. Narabo shabra de keri karabo shanda ya resonto korobo shabra de rekeri bo shara raba ba 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 ken son taria karabo sha rikorobo shara ba 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 ne brande rikorobo shanda reke son toro raba ba roko sambra de re ribranda raba ba ba shanda ya karabo sha the Lord will give you glory. May the fruit be evident in the name of Jesus. Let our light so shine. Let it shine, let it shine. Let darkness take leave. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' name. What I believe is that if we know God, He has to show. 
cannot hide, you know. That's how I see things. Amen. Amen. So it says that your mission statement will help you maintain focus on purpose. Amen. It determines what you will do and not do. You cannot be doing everything. <laughs> it serves as a map, as a roadmap for your life. It helps you redeem time. So it's all about letting the Lord lead. I've had leaders of family say that. I'm like, what's going on? They're like, um, I'm very discouraged. Why are you discouraged? Things are not going the way that are supposed to go. Because you do not seek, you know, the ways of the Lord. Those who seek the Lord, the mount of wings like eagle. You cannot be tired. Eagles are never tired. The Bible says you will run and not be weary. <laughs> you walk and not think. So when you come across like, I'm discouraged, things are not going well. It's because you don't have any mission statement. You're doing try by error. You're doing things by your own power. Of course, you're supposed to be tired. Hmm? But the Lord is saying this morning that with a mission statement, it's going to help us be on track and help us focus on things that we need to focus on. It's going to draw a roadmap for our life. It means it's a lifetime um, agenda. It's going to help us redeem time, meaning that you can start today. And that is why he supports this statement from the article with Joel 2, 25, 23. I will restore to you the years that a swarming locust had eaten. Another version says the canker worm, the palmer worm, the hopper, the destroyer, the cutter. So the cutter comes and cuts your life short, cuts your expectation. <laughs> My great army which I send among you. Amen. So yeah. let us pray this prayer that time that we have lost by going our own ways, time that families have lost by doing their own thing mm -hmm. and not aligning with the Lord and his word and his ways will be restored as we begin to seek his ways through mission statements, asking the Father, let us just pray for restoration that has come through mission statements and through following the word. Pray in tongues if you can, especially. Amen. Pray for every member for the men on this Pray for the men, oh God, that are not present. let it be known to them, oh Lord. Rabba, Derebosha. Let it come upon them strongly. Let it come upon them strongly, oh Father, in the name of Jesus. Randerebosha, brother, bada. Ramba, Derebosha. He says that I will restore the years that the canker worm had eaten. Rabba, that when you have no mission plan, it is a canker worm in disguise. The cutter, the palmer worm, the destroyer. Rambo, Robosha. It comes to frustrate families. Randerebosha. But this day, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We call the heads to order. Randerebo Shandaraba Rabo. So the Father is willing. The Father is willing to restore it. Basha, it is not too late to ask a mission statement that will guide the family the way that they must go. Rabo Shada. Even Jesus had one that we are called upon to have. Rabo Shandaraba. How can we excel? How can we rise? Hey, Shandaraba. How can we rise? How can we live a fulfilled Field life. How can we impact the world? Randerebosha. We cannot by no means without the Father restoring unto us. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for every family represented online this morning. Oh, that this experience In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so because of time constraint, um, I was gonna read Genesis 24, 1 to 22, but I'll just tell the story because it's story time. 
<laughs> so it talks about Abraham sending his head seven to find a wife. We already know the story. To find a wife for Jacob. That was the mission statement. Go and find the, a wife for Jacob. Do not pass at the local Canaanite people. Don't get a wife from there. Get it from my own people. That was the instruction. So this servant left Abraham on this journey with a mission in mind. It was stated. The mission statement. The mission was stated by Abraham. That you will go and find a wife. Avoid the local Canaanites. Don't bring wife from there. We don't want wife from there. Find a wife for for Isaac. My this is Jacob or Isaac. Isaac, right? Isaac. Isaac, yeah. Find a wife for Isaac. So he left. So he saw an saw an old. But then before he did, he said, "What if I go there and?" She refuses to come. What if, what if? It is It is the same question that families are asking themselves today because sometimes the Holy Spirit takes his time to download information the way that you must go as per, as per mission statements for every family. And then you see people going, walking at it, consciously or unconsciously, not even knowing that it's from their father. They, they just walk at it and then it gets to a point where they are stuck. If you know that this is from the Father and you're stuck, you trust in the Lord and the power of his might to deliver you from that situation and keep going because there is no smoke path per se. So you're going to walk at it with the help of the Holy Spirit and know that indeed this is where I'm supposed to be. With that certainty and confidence that we have been praying for, with that boldness and on a apologetic you know, way, a manner of approach when it comes to this mission statement, that is how you're going to walk at it until you begin to impact the world. But then if you do not know where you're supposed to be, you begin to act like the, the head servant of Abraham. You're going to be like, what if she doesn't come? What if? And then that's how people begin to act today. They're like, are we sure that this is the thing that the Lord is asking us to do? If I thought the Lord is even in it. And then we're like, this other family does IT. IT is showing. It is giving. It is, you know, flourishing. So I think that we should, you know, divert into IT. And that's where the thing is. That's where the the food is and everything, but that may not be the that may not be what the father has for family A. But then family A is is, is copying what family B is doing. You know that's how people get misled without mission statements, without without focus, without direction. It is very dangerous and risky. And then you go to do what family B is doing, and then everybody is frustrated because of course people are not in their calling and their purpose. Because mission statements will guide you into your calling, narrow it down for you in your purpose. You see, an engineer comes out from here, a doctor, everybody in the house is, you know, in their thing versus copying. The whole house wakes up, okay, today's IT, everybody takes laptop. And then people get frustrated because some people's fingers are not meant to type such as myself. My fingers are not meant to type, but to create and do things. That's where I find happiness, and because that is my purpose that the Lord, you know, directed me in. Initially, I was gonna do IT, so it just brings us to mission statement. But then, when when the head servant left and he went down there, he trusted. Um, Abraham had told him to pray that God will guide him and stuff like that. So when he got there, he made a prayer to the Lord. The one that will give me water to drink when I ask for immediately, that, that is the wife. He prayed that prayer, and that is what happened. The lady did not only give him water. She brought water too for his cattle, you know. So that is how God will give us instructions. Even when he restores the years that a canker worm had eaten, he would restore it down to specifics and make it certain so that we are not living an apologetic lifestyle we are living a life of boldness and we begin to proclaim this mission statement in the name of jesus like paul did and the father says do not be quiet speak on in the same way we pray this day that the lord you will restore and redirect us with clarity when clarity comes upon you you're speaking very bold you think you're mad because you know what you're saying like jesus says do you not know i'm supposed to be in the temple that's how we're going to be sounding amen so let us pray Father, we thank you this day. We thank you this day for redirecting our steps. 
We thank you for boldly. We thank you for restoring unto us. You have restored unto us, oh God, the years that we have wasted. And therefore, this day, we pray that as we begin to download into the families, oh God, the way that it must go, the mission statements for each family. I pray, God, in the name of Jesus, that they will receive it and begin to run with it. I repeat, in the name of Jesus, this is how society changes forever. In the name of Jesus. I pray that we will receive it with clarity in the name of Jesus. When you help us, it is easy. When you restore, it is easy. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that has restored lost time, lost purpose. So the article says, the question is, what is your mission statement? What are you doing? And for whom are you doing it? Are you doing, I keep on, you know, the reason why I keep using IT because it has become a thing. People do, you know, why? What are you doing? And whom, for whom are you doing? Are you doing IT to show off that you can buy designers? Are you doing, are you copying? There's all kinds of things that people just do crash courses for and then they use it as show off. They go there only because it's a, so they have a mission in their mind. I need to get this job done so I can buy this shoe and show them that I can buy Gucci, I can buy Louis Vuitton. Very mad people. You know, the mission is wrong, the statement is wrong, everything's just wrong. In fact, so the Bible says Colossians 3 23 says, and whatever you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord, as to the Lord, and not to men. Okay. You know, knowing that. From the Lord, you will receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. Amen. 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 Time is against us. So you see, mission statements is powerful. If you have the wrong one, even the devil has his own. He's come to kill, steal, and destroy. <laughs> I'm telling you. So it says, the article says, nation builders, kingdom giants, generational pace setters, role models, and pioneers will be the outcome of your generation. Of course, not the contrary. That's what I added because the contrary is the people who do things to compete, the people who don't even know why they are here, the people, the thieves, the robbers, the, why do I keep calling thieves and robbers? The other things out there that are horrible, you know, people, the murderers, serial killers, the, um, the rapists, all kinds of the, the abusers, transgenders, ha, ha, this evil, LGBTQI, that, that long list, all of those people, people without mission statements. Well, they have their own mission from the devil that has come to kill, steal, and destroy. So you see how the devil is manifesting in them. But then when we do what we do as unto the Lord, I'm telling you, generational set, peace setters, these are the people that come out. Kingdom mm -hmm. giants such as ourselves, mm -hmm. nation builders, generational, you know, people with sin names, you know. This is what the father does with you. And people say, it looks like everything is well with you, like we worship this morning. People begin to say, look what God has done. Amen. So this is a recipe. This is it's easy to understand. But then the devil comes with darkness to keep to steal, to steal this truth. That is his mission statement. And he's working at it tirelessly. To make sure that people are mad in the streets like they are today. So let us just pray in tongues. Time is against us. Let us just pray in one minute in tongues, if you can. And Father, we pray this that we have a mission and a vision 
Nebrosha, we are not here to please man. We are not here to please man. Nebrosha, but whatever we do, we do it as unto the Lord. As a nurse, we do it as unto the Lord. You nurse as unto the Lord. As a painter, you paint as unto the Lord. As a teacher, you teach as unto the Lord. As an IT, you, you IT as unto the Lord. As, as a skincare professional, you skincare, you care for the skin of the people as unto the Lord. As an engineer, you engineer as unto to the Lord, Rabosha, as a doctor, you do it as unto the Lord, Rabosh and the reposha. But I will pray you will take away this vein, this vein understanding of why we are called, where we are called to in the name of Jesus. May we understand that even the money that we make, it is it is foster the agendas of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. May we not be lost, Ebashanda, when you come to bless us. Bless us. May we not forget why we are blessed. May we not forget what we are called to do, what we are called to do in the name of Jesus. May this mission really be stated clearly for us, that we will run with it and impact the world at large, because that is our focus. That is the goal in the name of Jesus. Even as we impact them with the word of God. Lord, we give you glory. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. Thank you, Commander. Thank you for the model home, which is the excellent home. This is possible. Thank you for the help of the Holy Spirit. You, God, have the formula. You have it all. You have the recipe. If only we would align with you. In the name of Jesus, build your church. Build your church. Build it from the ground up. It's your church. Build your church. Build your church. Build it from the ground up. It's your church. Build your church. Oh, build your church. Build it from the ground up. It's your church. Except the Lord builds. The builder builds in vain. Amen. When the Lord builds the church from the ground up, which begins in the homes, the community is changed forever. In Jesus' name. I pray that this truth will reach many. In Jesus' name, amen. And we share the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The Holy Spirit. Let's survive us now and forever. Holy goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We will dwell in the house of the Lord ever and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you all for coming in the name of Jesus. Bless you too. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs>